What's up guys? I have a scholar box <laughs> and this is going to be my last scroller box for at least a ne the next few, uh, next few months <laughs> the next few months because I um, wanted to take a subscription pause so I contacted the owners and let them know that I wanted kind of a little break and then I'm gonna get back to it probably probably late spring something like that that way I can focus on creating art projects oh man <laughs> of course of course I didn't open it and you guys know the usual what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna end up breaking those those things. Is this open yet? Come on, man. There you go. Okay. Can I get can I get these? Can I can I get this? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Come on! Wait, is this close too? No. Come on, I think I opened this part. Okay, so I opened this <sighs> The struggle is real. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. Forget it. Oh, this one opened. Forget it. I'm just going, going savage. Oh, man. Of course. <laughs> of course. Well, it is the last scroller box. It would have been weird for me to have opened it normally because I never did for the last few times. I think I've been with scroller, scroller box, I think for about a year, maybe. All right. So I'm super curious to see what we get in this month. Ooh, that is, ooh, black paper. That is pretty, you get white and black paper. Okay, so the print of the month, we get a three-eyed horse, which is very reminis reminiscent of Catvok, because she likes to make her animals three-eyed, unless that's not an eye, but um, I think it's an eye. I think it's an eye. And the artist's name is Queer Mortal, Mortal, probably. Queer Mortal, this is the information. And let's, Let's do the check -in. So the first thing I saw was actually two different colors of papers. We have our black and we have white, which I don't think they've done. And it feels kind of like, um, not construction paper, but just a little more solid. So I'm really curious. My guess is that this is probably going to be for pastels. Am I wrong? I'm usually wrong, <laughs> but let's, let's figure it out together. Okay. So, we have our shtia, and the list, ooh, watercolor, ah oh, man, I just bought this like a couple of weeks ago, and now we're getting it? Ah, oh, so it looks like I have two of them, yes, Oh, that is gorgeous, yeah, I bought this set two weeks ago, and I got the pastel shimmery set too, because they have just the kind of golden sheens, and they have the pastel gorgeousness, so, I haven't tried them yet, so, this is the perfect time to do that. So we have watercolors, in case you guys don't know. Okay, so we have the water metallic paint. But these are watercolors. Yeah, okay, see, solid watercolors. High quality Japanese handmade. Very nice, very nice. This already is worth more than the box because I paid, I think I got it off Amazon and I probably paid $15 just for this. $15 just for this, and the whole box here is $15, so you're already getting your, your value right away. And then we have a water brush broad tip. So my guess is, so these water brushes I'm actually a really big fan of, is that you actually have a um, kind of like a casing in here where you put water. So anytime you want to control more water into your brush, you just kind of have to lightly squeeze it and it makes it glide so much more easily. So yeah, this is a really pretty brush tip. I don't think I have a wide one. I think I have like the kind of V-shaped ones, but not the wide one. So this is really nice. And then we have <laughs> microns. I always, I love microns. I think I have like every size possible of microns. Uh, this one is a 0.5, which is on the thicker end of what I would work with. I usually prefer working with 0.5 threes, but 0.5, it'll do. And we have a Derwent graphic pencil, made in Britain. That's what I love about Scrawler Box, is that they really do give you quality stuff. So it's not things that you're gonna be like, I found this at the dollar store. Well, unless it's like heavily discounted. And we have 
the Swizzles lemon flavor. I love these things, but I can't have any right now. Normally I would eat the candy, but I can't have any right now because I'm kind of like doing a detox, <laughs> detox thing. So yeah, I can't, I can't do any of that. So here we are. This is, this is what we got. Let's test this stuff. So here's what they look like outside of the, what's it called? The case, the box. <laughs> here's what they look like outside the box. I was like, uh, I'll do them on the white paper, but I think we're going to get a nicer effect if we try them out on the black paper. So I don't know how much activation this needs. So I put a little bit of water in the brush. Um, maybe I should just wet it directly. So I'm going to put, Oh wow, that's, it's pretty dry. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit of water. Hopefully we can activate it and take it from there. So I'm no expert with watercolor. Definitely far from it. I know nothing, nothing about watercolors. The only thing I know how to really do with watercolor is play around <laughs> with them. And it's not even the right way to do it. Hang on, I'm trying to get a napkin. Okay. I think we should be able to try it now. So we're going to start from, ooh, that is so pretty already. We're going to start from left to right and, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I'm sure if we layer it, it'll be even more gorgeous or if we make it even more concentrated, it'll be even, even prettier. So I'm going to have to like <laughs> maneuver around the camera so that we can see it on the other side. So let's try the darker one. So the first one was called blue gold. The next one is called red gold. So at the same time, it's kind of making a bit of a sample. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of the Perlex powders called Aztec gold. Oh, I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. This is so good. Uh, why didn't I try them sooner? I actually own this set. I don't understand why I haven't tried it sooner. Next one is yellow gold. I'm not wetting my brush. It really is just the water in the casing. Oh man. I think so far of these three, the middle one is my favorite. This is my second favorite. And then the blue gold is my third, I would say my third favorite. This is so pretty and it's so pigmented too. I love Japanese art supplies. Okay. Next one we have is champagne gold, followed by light gold, and then white gold. So, let's do our champagne. That's really creamy. That's really, really creamy. Ooh. So champagne. It's kind of like white gold with a tint of silver. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. It seems so. So far, I want to know what yours, your favorite is. Now we're going into light gold. So what I like about this, oh, I spoke too soon. I was about to say what I, no, maybe I'm wrong. I was about to say what I like about this is that each one is distinctly different. And yeah, it is different because I thought this would be similar to that, but it seems a lot more pearly and a lot less opaque. So yeah, it's definitely more pearly. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at the water. It's so magical. I feel like putting a memory in there. Look at that. That is gorgeous. We have one last gold to go, which is white gold. And that's kind of what influenced me in, uh, what's it called? Doing it on the black paper. So pearly. So pretty. Oh my gosh. So here's, here's what the set looks like. I'm just washing my brush and enjoying the view. Look at that. It's so pretty. So if you're like me and easily distracted, <laughs> you're going to enjoy the water. You're definitely going to enjoy the water. So this is, I'm so happy that this is the, technically this is the last box I'm getting from Scrawler Box, but it kind of forced me to actually use the Ganzai Tambi, I hope I'm saying it right, Ganzai Tambi set of pretty pretty metallic golds. These are really, really pretty. I can't wait to use them. And 
I, I should I should use them more often. So if you guys want more information on scroller box, I'll leave it down below. I'm not trying the other materials, which is the micron and the pencil, because you guys have seen me already use the microns and pencils. Well, they're pencils. But here we go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.